Okay, so let's do so. Let, so let's let's start from Torah Aleph. Just quickly review, and then we'll continue. So Asher to me, Medorah Halachim to Yisrael Hashem Da Shenokel. The Torah miskablum kolat filet v'cholav akoshes through the Torah is the kolat filet v'cholav akosh. All the Torah, all the filet, all the praise, all the bags are being miskabel. Right. V'chein shel Yisrael on this Aleph. The chein, the charm, and the respect from the Eden on this Aleph and Yisrael from the Kamei Shitzrichim. For wherever it's needed, the respect rises. Hem berachni, hem begashmi, in the spiritual level and in the physical level as well. Ka'achshav sayin aram chen v'chashiv v'samiti shel Yisrael nafel. The true charm, the respect from the all the Jews fell. Ka'achshav ikir v'chashiv v'chen in etzam. Now it's in our days. It's a time that the chashivus, the importance, the respect and the charm is at the Gentiles. Alav etoyin in this Allah chen v'chashiv v'shel Yisrael. But if we do the toyin, then we gain. And we gain back our respect. The, the specialty of Torah it brings back the chen shemal lechen alamdeo. It elevates and brings chen charm on the ones who are learning. While the zen is kablim kol hatfilus of koshes, and through that, if we raise our chen, it's in the spiritual level as well. So we are zoyche also to raise that all the tefillas and the koshes that we that we we daven. It's being being accepted. So he starts explaining it. Why is it so? Kisha Israeli tzachtom is tackled by seichel she called over. Aish Israeli, every Jew has to look in the seichel. So he, the way he explains it, it's the pnimius, it's the insights of everything. So he calls over here and he has to connect himself to the chokhmah, to the wisdom that is in everything. So there's a wisdom hidden in everything so the wisdom is not like a human being that is wise that he can make decisions upon so the wisdom means there's something inside the, in the, which is the essence of the thing which is that he calls it seichel he says in order if a person connects himself when he looks at something and he, and he connects himself to the insights of the thing he's being connected to that so what happens then is that he so all this, the wisdom that is is in that particular object will light and will shine to him, will help him to see through that piece, he's, he has the ability to get come closer to Hashem. Seichel is a very big light, light. And it's... And it's Ma'ilo. Ma'ilo. Mm-hmm. It's it's lightening in mm-hmm. the whole and all his ways. Which cause of Chachmas Adam Toyponov, the Chachma of a person will enlighten his face. Okay, so what is so this? Is that Yaakov? This is where we left off. Okay. Right. So, so uh, are we already recording? We're, yes. Okay. Yes. So what I'm trying here, I would like. So Seichel, so Seichel is the is the the panemius, the um, the essence of anything, right? Right. He called Seichel. Not the way we are used to use seichel. Just yesh lecha seichel, el lecha seichel. Yeah. If you have, are you smart or not? It's not about smart. It's the wisdom of the thing. Everything has a wisdom behind it, behind it. As I explained last time, it's the scientist that works around the physics. The one who's busy with physics, he sees in everything electrons and neutrons. And he doesn't look at it as a physical object, just the way it is. He sees there's something hidden. There's so it's also the tzaddik, when he, whatever he looks on, what he looks, he sees he sees the devar Hashem. He sees that there is a wisdom, God's wisdom is in it. And as as he's going to, to continue is also because in the process, in the process of world's creation, was done through chachme. Chachme mm-hmm. is wisdom, but chachme is also it's not it's not only wisdom. It's a mid. It's a it's one of the. Midot, one of the middles of a per, uh, that meaning to say it's a level. Chachm is a level. Chachm is the highest level, which is still it's still the it's still a thing, which is really still unites with the Creator. It's a very deep concept. I don't know if we should uh, if we should so, emphasize it at this time, but but basically to elaborate on it too much. But just the point point is, let's say when I'm thinking. On something, let's say if I'm trying to understand something, so when there's the spark that hits the person, the enlightening, the way they call it, the spark that hits, hits the person, aha. the aha moment. So when something 
light, then it's still the person pure, it's the pure mind of the person. But then the person all starts getting into that spark and it tries to build it up and to ex exactly understand it, that's the point where it's not anymore so pure because then it involves other factors. So in order to understand the real essence of something, we'll call it Chachme. Chachme is the spark, the way the spark is. It then, 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 then it's pure. So everything, every object in this world has the Chachme Eliki, has the wisdom of Hashem. There's the wisdom, meaning to say it's not, a, it's not about s smart. It's not smart. It's the wisdom, meaning to say it's a level which, where it's the pure godly essence of the thing. So everything is actually not the way we see it. Everything has, it's actually the Var Hashem. There's a godly spark. That's, that's, that makes this thing available and creates this thing, and that's why it is exists. So it exists. The whole existence is a godly spark. So is the Rebbe telling us that we should also, when he says we have to see the seichel in every bechol davar, is he saying we have to see the elokut that is in everything, or is he saying that also ma'alza we have to actually go and, you know, if we see a tree, we should go and really understand the bio, you know, the biological aspect of a tree to understand the elokut behind it. Is he telling us to really go and acquire knowledge in order to be able to see godliness, or we have to, or is he telling us that we just need to be in a constant mindset of everything has Hashem in it? So, so what he, if I understand it right, there's 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 two parts. There's the part when a person before he davens, let's say, a person has, has to has to think about godless Hashem. So you can say, oh, God is great, and you, you just throw the statement and it's basically you don't live it and then and then there's the person then there's the person when he goes through the biology and and it starts like going from level to level understanding the respect that he has to a police officer the respect that he has to a captain respect that he has to a mayor the respect that he has to a governor the respect that he has to the president and let's go if you move out of our country where it's the democracy going to the all the kingdoms and try to go into higher levels and then you say wow what a respect you have for this person so you understand the godless avoid the same thing will also be you want to look at the greatness of hashem if you see you see wow look 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 at this little ant how it walks how it has the ability has his, his knowledge this little creature this little microscopical um, enzyme knows exactly what to do and how to get to whatever it needs to feed himself or whatever it's microscopical you just and you go bigger and bigger and bigger until you go to a level where you say, wow, that's Morabi Masech Hashem. You say, so you really, really admire Hashem. It's not only say, it's when you want to compare this to the person, so, yeah, I know God is great to finish. He doesn't live it. It doesn't really, it doesn't really, he doesn't connect to it. It's something, it's a knowledge that he has. Yeah, everyone knows that God is great. He created a world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just ask a person, why is he, what do you mean? He created a world. And will you get upset if you try to challenge him? But does he really live it? Over, but over there is the other one, that's the tzaddik, that he lives it. But, there, that, but that, this has special times that a person has to live it to really get so, inside more and more. But now there's the, the second point where you said, the person that comes at level, if he's really, if he sees things the way they are, really are, he doesn't look at it as a physical object. He looks at it as a godly object. He looks at it as a godly spark that, that that gives the life to it and there's levels and levels on that so he's as more he connects to the thing as more he lives it and he's able to derive and obtain closeness to Hashem from every object that he encounters so this is is this like um, is this kind of like the hit boninut which is taught in Lubavitch is it kind of like that it's in a way but it's very short here Right, right, right. Okay, but he's touching off on that subject, right? Right, okay. right, right. So, Hit Boninut in Lubavitch, are you familiar with it? No, no, no. So, basically, what Lubavitch teaches is that if you really want to understand God, God Hashem, you have to do what, what, what Rabbi Israel said was to, you know, really look at how the world really is, and then you think about that, and then you get to understand God Hashem, right? So, that's what, what he's saying here is Hit Boninut there. Let's let's take let's take an let's take an example. Let's take an example. Let's say if there's someone someone will come and out of the blue will come to you and give you thousand here you have thousand dollars. Go go buy whatever wherever whatever you need. You'll really be thankful to the person, right? 
out of the blue, who doesn't know you, why did he do it, yes? And if you really get involved in thinking, so he said, he, this person is a completely stranger, doesn't know me, has no reason why to give it to me. He obviously have his, has his own children, or if he doesn't have children, he has family, he has friends, he has people who will admire him for what he did. I'm a completely stranger, I will never know him, I'll never find him again. Wow, you see what I did? And as more you get involved in, you elaborate on it, your admiration and you thanking the person will become bigger and bigger, right? So that's what he, what he's, what he's referring to, boy, not not just, you know, there's the, there's the first glimpse where a person says, yeah, wow, I'm really thanking him what he did. But as more you elaborate on it, the more you think, really, what happened there, you really become your, you become more and more and more thankful. Right, so it's in every level and everything. Whatever happens, the more you elaborate to understand things, you really appreciate the things much more. Okay. So he explains. That's the beginning of Yaakov. Yaakov zocher lebchoyde. Yaakov was zocher to bechoyde. Right, he born of the bechoyde from Esav. Shehu reishes. The mile, the advantage of bechoyde, he's the first one. Shehu beginnes chachme. The chachme is the first mida. So. The Chachma the Frech, which calls him Reishis Chachma, the Zebechinas, the Yakvenu, the Pamaim. Ace of complaint to Yitzchak, to his father, that Yaakov cheated him twice. To the Targum in Kalis, what's that, the Yakvenu, Yaakov? So he called him, why Isa was telling Yitzchak, Achikora Shemo Yaakov, why was he called Yaakov? So he already cheated me twice. So yeah. Yaakov, the Targum says, what's the definition of Yaakov? Yaakveinu, vechakmeinu, smart me out. Mm-hmm. So Yaakov is Chachme. Why is he Chachme? Because he bought of the Bechoyre. Bechoyre is the first. So there's, when it comes to Kabbalah, Chassidus, there's always the point that to run in many things, which is basically the same point, which runs in different shapes and uh, different wordings. So, so is that is that also another big a big theme in Stam, you know, Torah Hasidut? Because I've noticed that just basically in different Ma'amarim, it's going to say, you know, we'll open up about any topic, any topic you want, and then after a certain point, it's going to say, and this corresponds to the Yud of Hashem's name, and this corresponds to the Hey of Hashem's name, or this is this Sfirah, this is that Sfirah. Is that w- w- why is that the case? Why is w- is is that just how Torah Hasidut teaches Kabbalah? W- 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 so, to, 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 yes, to succeed is what it does is it basically takes down the levels. Of it, 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 when you learn it, Kabbalah, it's like, let's call it dry, very dry, very uh, tech, t- technical. This is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. And some people find it, wow, amazing. They really love it. But some, the whole life is missing. Mm. They're just basically saying, okay, this is this level, this level. Kassidus, what it does is it opens it up and, and explains it and it brings it down to a level that you really be able to connect to that level. So what he's saying here, so he's going to prove you that this level goes into few. So they have Yaakov is Chachme, Yaakov B'choyre is Chachme, that's the beginning. And you see the Yaakveinu is the Chachmeinu, the Targum says. So you see that Yaakov comes from Chachme. Now, what is he saying? Now, the next beginner, what he's saying, Vizeh Bechinesh Shemesh. That's the beginning of the song. Why? Chachmah has the ability that it lights and it makes everything so clear like the sun does. Right? What's the difference between night and day? And day, everything, in the daylight, everything is clear. You see everything. Everything is... So everything may, might be existing beforehand, but the light missing. When the light is missing, you're not able to see. You can even mm-hmm. trip and fall and break your head. But if you, if the light comes out, then all of a sudden the sun comes out. You see what everything is. So 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 the same thing will be with all the tigers that we have all around. You'll see. You'll elaborate in different prokim. But he keeps. He says in Dagdama that every point is being in all kind of languages brought out. So so the light enables us to see everything in the real perspective, the way it is. Hmm. So, the ways of the tzaddikim are like light. 
It's lightning till the daylight. It says the same level is also Ches. What's Ches? So Chochma is Chet? Or chet. Shemesh is Chet? So, so it says Chochma is Shemesh, basically doing the same thing, what Shemesh does. Mm. And that's also the beginning of Ches. Chet is the eight alphabetical, right? It's Ches. Loshen, but Ches is also the Loshen of Chius, of life. It's the light of everything. It's the life of everything. Shlomo Melech said in Kehelis, Chochme wisdom has, is bringing life to his boss, Baleo. Meaning to say, it's also Chochme brings Chayas. So now, why, why is Shlomo Melech sometimes say, Chochme is not good? Because we all say if somebody that is Chochme is suffering too much, yeah, it may be the majority of the country and is suffering also. Sometimes the Shlomo Melech saying the Chochma is not so good. So it depends. So it depends. <laughs> so it depends. It depends what you call Chochma. So there's levels in wisdom. Yeah. So what he's talking here, he's talking to the real Chochma, where the it's the real point. The top, yes. When you when, when you really get to the point of everything, you see everything in a different light. There's a story saying there was the Noam and the Melech and Melech Melezensk. So to say. That's what the legend says that it was. He was the he was the um, the main rebbe of Polish Polish Hasidus. Polish right? Hasidus, yes, right. Ramelech of Lizensk. So Ramelech, before he passed away, to say people used to come and ask for blessings, mm. he would send them to his disciples to tell me them. Why? Mm. He said, "I'm already in a level where I see the goodness and all the problems, so I can't help you. <laughs> in order to help you, after it re- really needs to bother me." I should be able to pray for you, but otherwise I see it in a different light. So we're sending before he passed. We're sending to tell me them. So it depends how you look at yeah, everything. Yeah. Ach, so he explains. Ach machmas shara seichel godl moit. Now because the wisdom, the R of the seichel is too big, ef shaliskes elav kim al day bechines lot. Now it says, in order a person should be able to reach to obtain this level. The only way she be zoichet to that is only through the beginning of Nun. Nun, yes, it's 50. She begins Malchus. Nun is Malchus. What is Malchut? So there's this Esa Spheres. Yes, there's the Esa Spheres in Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is Esa Spheres. Esa Spheres is the last sphere is Malchus. Yeah. Malchus is kingdom. Yeah. But Malchus, in different language, he's going to explain is Levana. Malchus, the, what's the difference between the sun and the moon? So the, the moon, recent Eight. science shows that the moon is covered with a special glaze, which is mirroring the sun. Mm. So, the, so at this point, after the, when the world was created, the moon and the sun were both equal. Mm. The moon said, Two kings cannot wear the same crown. Meaning to say, it's a it's a metaphor of saying, it's it's either he or 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 me, either you or me, me yeah. or me, right? We can both be in the same level. So the so, we're, so the Shem said, okay, so you so yeah, lech tamite tatzmecha, go and okay, you 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 become smaller. It's a level, it's a high level of anivus. But also, what the concept is being to saying. So the Levana Malchus, Malchus is a point, Malchus is a Makabal from all the above spheres. So there's 10 Sphirot, and Malchus is the one who accepts. Because what is Malchus? Malchus is ruling, right? So when you rule, you're basically giving whatever you have, you're giving it to the people, mm. right? So the king is the one who is giving everything over to, to his... The malchut. To the Malchut. To the Malchut. So he's taking all whatever he has, all the seven spheres, all the ten actually, whatever with channels down, comes to the level for Malchut. Malchut, there's the point where you, there's the Mashpia, there, there's the Makabal, there's the giver and there's the taker. Mm. So all the people, we are the takers. We are part of the Malchut, right? I'm Melech Belayom. A king cannot be a king by himself in his own palace. There's no people in his in the kingdom. If someone, if someone can own miles and miles and miles of property, well, if there is no people there, then he's not a king. King is the one who, who is mashpia, the one who gives. 
So what he takes, takes all whatever he has and he gives it over. So Malchut is the level, so he explains. So because Malchut is, is a Mechabal, it, it's, show, it's basically also bringing out the point that it's a lower level. So in order we should be able to reach what the R of the Seichel in which in order, order should be able to connect what it's needed to be connected to, we cannot connect only by the Darga of Nun, he's saying, by the level of Nun. Why? So he explains. Before the Shemesh, Yinon Shemoy. Rash explains, Lashon Malchut. As Yinon is a Lashon, is a language, it comes from the same root of Mal, it's Malchus, so kingdom. That's the beginning of Lavana. Why? Kalvana in the Arma Atzma. The Lavana doesn't obtain his own light. Whatever he gets from the Shemesh, that's what he delivers further. What is this pasuk? It's a pasuk in Tehillim. But what, is, what, is it, what does it mean? Before the sun, his name. If you take it to Tehillim, you got a Tehillim here? Ein Bethe? Yes. So the whole post, the whole capital is talking about Kingdom, okay. if you see. So, so what the Apostle is saying, his name should be forever, but it also, also derives, Shmoy, we see this explains, that the name of Hashem mm. is the life of the world. Okay. Name refers to a level where when you call a person, let's say if I call you Ben, right? So we could talk about Ben, we could have everything around Ben, but it's, you might even not be here, but we still have some maybe respect or whatever we have for your name, but it's not you. You're not being here, let's say for example, but something, but still has some connection to you, but it's not physical connection, right? It has a certain connection. Mm. So the name of Hashem, that's where, that's the highest of the whole world. Meaning to say that it's, it's the world isn't Hashem, but isn't it's, that, uh, it's it, it is Hashem, but it's meaning to say it's a level where it's only shy, the only connection is the name connection. It's a very nominal, very small connection. But, but even then, connection. you're sitting right here. I call you Yisrael, but that doesn't touch upon your Atma. Right. right? It doesn't touch. It, it has a connection because it has a connection, but it's, because when a person faints, mm. one of the ways that you call the person by the name, it has a connection to the person, the Shama. That's why you call a person with a name, you might wake up. Mm. But it, it has a connection, but it's still not a physical connection. It's more mm. like a spiritual connection. So, Lifnei Shem, Meshina Shemoi, so Rash explains, is a lotion of Malchus. Meaning to say, that our connection is through, is through Malchus. Mm. Because we cannot, Mezebichinus Kelvone, so where is he saying? Mezebichinus Levone, Kelvone, Ela Orma, Atzik, Vikim, Masha, Mekabelis, Mashemish. The Levana doesn't have its own light, only what he, he gets from the Shemesh, from the sun. That's the beginning of Malchus, the last long the Garme Klim. Malchus has, hasn't, ha, doesn't have its own. It's only what he gets. What he gets from the Bechas, the Bechinus Chachma, the Bechinus Shemesh. Chachma, the, the top level. So there are seven levels behind. Malchus is the seventh level. So whatever he gets, Bechinus Shemesh, Venasa, or Alvonek, or Echama. Then, will be having like the Oir Alvano Mashiach will come the Oir Alvano will be like the Arachama. this is a very this is a very confusing paragraph so what he's explaining let's let's let's, let's so he's I'll, teaching Kabbalah right now he's explaining the Sefirot right now right he's explaining Sefirot but he's explaining a concept here. he's explaining sometimes the levels are too high it, it, that, it, that you cannot connect to the level in order to connect to the level it has to come down to a lower level and when it's when it is in a lower level, 
you can c- connect to the same level, but only in a lower level. Let's let's so explain it's, it's it. Like, it's so it's it's like this thing: the higher something is, the lower a place it can go, right? Yes, There's, yes. So but 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 what he's bringing out here is like well, let's let's give an example. When you use a metaphor, mm. so why would a person use a metaphor? What's wrong with a, with a thing that you want to explain? Why do you need a metaphor to explain the thing? So, the, so over there, the reason is because the metaphor is something that is in your world. What I'm trying to explain is not in your world, so there's no way I could bring it down in your mindset. You should be able to understand it, mm. unless I take a metaphor that is in, is in your world, in your metaphor, in your mindset. Like this, you could understand the concept. So there's metaphors, which is exactly the same point. It's just you're not aware of the factors that I was talking before, and that's why I use a metaphor. So it's like if I wanted to teach you some deep concept in mathematics, mm-hmm. but you don't really know math very well. Mm-hmm. So I can go and explain it in, different, in a different way that you can still understand the concept, but, but if I write it for you in a, in a formula, you're not going to get it. So I have to go and explain it to you in a way that uh, right. you understand. Right, right. But, very good. So, so the only difference is... And then mathematics, let's say, if I want to teach you 3 times 4 mm. equals 12, right? Mm. So I could try to teach the whole time and the student won't get it. So what, I, what, what I'm going to do? I'm going to take, let's say, 4 cups mm-hmm. and I'll take another cup. So, so 4 cups times 3. Let's put up 3 sets of 4. Right. So, okay. So now, the, oh, that's 12. So we right away get it. But over there... It's basically the same concept. It's mm. just I brought it more in his world. You should be able to connect it. But now there's also some metaphors which is not exactly the same point. It has it has something from the point. Mm. has a similarity, but it's not exactly the same point. But it's enough. For me, you should understand something what I'm talking about. So this is the idea of Bechina? So that's a bit. That's that's when you call it a lower lower level. Let's take for an example. Let's take for an example. I'll give a different example, which is not exactly the same what we're trying. Okay. To bring so out. so you're so you're talking about. So you have Mishalim that are that go and explain a concept on a parallel way. Parallel right? way, right? It's all on the same level, but just in different levushim, right? right? And then you also have Mishalim that go and bring things from a higher level down to down to a lower level. So it's not mamash what it was up there. But, it, but has... it still has something from okay. it. So, so, so let's give let's give a very typical example. Will be the, what's the difference between Mishnayot, Mishnayis, Mishnah, and Talmud. So Talmud is basically explaining what the Mishnah says, mm. right? But if you walk into a six-year-old, you try to explain the Talmud. The first few minutes, it might be very nice and uh, just stare at you, mm-hmm. but. Very, very fast, it'll start coming edgy and jumpy, it'll jump <laughs> out of his skin, right? Because you cannot connect it. But if you take the same point, you say it in the level of Mishnah, which is just the point without all the explanations, you still have the same thing, but it's very, very concentrated and very, it brought down to a low level that this kid could understand. And there's some kids can't even cannot even understand the Mishnah, they will understand the practical halacha. That mm. comes out from the Mishnah. So you would say, Shabbos, you're not allowed to turn on the lights. Mm-hmm. The kid would understand it. Okay, Shabbos, you're not allowed to turn on the lights. But he's not going to understand the whole concept. Why? The language of the Mishnah, which might be Lush and Kodesh, not in English. And then the explanation of the Mishnah, how to learn a Mishnah. And the explanation of what the Talmud explains, why, from where it's derived, why you say so, and all around. And when you go, go into the next level, higher level, there's kashas different places should be different mm. Allah, why is it so all oh, this whole nine yards that's around he might not understand it doesn't need any but he still knows the same halakha which is the point of what it comes out of this whole discussion right mm. so there's still a point so there's also what he's saying here that in order we should be able to connect to this wisdom we cannot connect to this wisdom in order we should be able to connect we have to go down to a much a lower level which is the level of Levana, which is the level of Shem of Malchut. And that level, we can have a certain connection to this level. So this level of understanding, in other words, is a person cannot walk around and see the world the way it really is, the way it really is. Mm. Because then the person is not existing anymore. 
he cannot exist. But in lower, lower levels, he has a certain understanding. And as higher the person gets, higher his understanding gets. And more the person gets out of his materialistic level, and he becomes a little bit more spiritual. Mm. He becomes, he sees it higher and higher and higher, till he really reaches high levels. That's what he says. That he, by the end of the game, <coughs> our halvane becomes like our achame. The light of the levane could become so strong, as strong as the sun. It depends how much you are willing to accept. But you have to start from being a, a vessel. A vessel, right? a lower level. And also an empty vessel. Right, right yeah, right, yeah, right. That's the, that's the essence of what he's saying. Now, but he says, the one who is not connecting himself to this wisdom, and to the life that's in, that exists in everything, that's the beginning of Esau. What happened with Esau? Yaakov, Esau came home, was tired. He killed the strongest person in the world then, Nimrod. He was able to kill yeah, the strongest person. He was all tired. He had, had a... Huh? Five, Five things he did, right. He came home and was dead tired. And Yaakov was cooking some some uh, adashim, yeah, some mm-hmm. soup. And he offers, he offers, uh, he, Esav asks, requests, give me a little soup. And he says, oh, no, lentils, yeah, or something. Mm-hmm. Lentils, yeah. yeah, lentils. And uh, Yaakov says, if you sell me the b'chayre, then don't, mm-hmm. don't do it. Yeah, so you write and say, well, why do I need this whole b'chayre? I have no point out of it. Just give me the soup. Mm-hmm. So Esav was laughing of the whole concept of b'chayre. Mm. Meaning to say, so the way what he was, why he explains it, not, not chachma, place, right? he was not, not interested in chachma. He's interested in his body, interested in enjoying life. Mm. Not interesting. He wants to see things, everything as a physical thing, mm. as a materialistic thing. That's where his connection is. It's like the person that has. Let's give it. Let's let's give it a different and a different light. It's let's say let's say for an example, there would be a chocolate here, which is poisoned. So you tell the person it looks very tempting, but don't eat it because it's poison. Mm-hmm. Says, ah, leave me alone with this whole stupidity. I want to. Looks eat like chocolate. chocolate. It smells like chocolate. chocolate. I, I want to eat chocolate. the chocolate. Leave yeah. me alone about everything. Don't 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 tell me what is hidden inside. So Aesop says, I don't care what's going on around in the world. What's the essence? Just just give me the thing. Finish. Mm-hmm. I want to eat. I want to enjoy and finish. So mm-hmm. Aesop is business of chayre. Because of each of Aesop is of chayre. They are seichel canal, the seichel, the wisdom, mechines leyachpoitz ksil b'svino ki im b'zgalos liboy. Shlomo Melech says in Mishli, ksil, the stupid man, he mm. doesn't want tvinah, he doesn't want understanding ki im b'zgalos liboy. He just wants to connect whatever his life, his emotions, tavot, whatever he wants. That's what he needs. Just leave me alone with all this wisdom. I'm letting nothing out of it. It's like the person people say, let me enjoy this world. He only lives once. He thinks he's missing out something. That's the beginning of Malchus Harisha. That's the beginning of Malchus Harsha. Malchus, when it turns into bad, evil, the evil kingdom. Mm. The, the, the evil kingdom are the people, is the king that abuses his power. Instead of being the king, which is humble, the king who is interested in delivering for the kingdom, for the people, they should have whatever they need, food, and help them out. This king is busy. He wants to dictate. He wants to. He wants to step on everyone. He wants to get the most that he could get out of these people, enslave them. He doesn't care about his people, right? This is Malchus Edisha. Bechinus Levana the Sitra Achra. That's the Levana of Sitra Achra. We know whatever Levana the Moon of Sitra Achra means to say whatever level there is in Kedusha, it, there is. There is equal parallel in Tima. So whatever level we have in Kedusha, we have the same level in Tima. So, so uh, why is that? Why? Why is it? Yeah. Because because in order in order the world should be able to exist mm. as a freedom of choice, mm-hmm. there was a need to hide 
the light. Right. right. Should be, there should be a good and there should be bad, and a person should have the ability to choose. So and whichever be, levels there was in Kedusha, we're not talking the highest levels, because mm. the highest level, there's no place for Tumah. Mm. We're talking in all the levels with 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 started with its symptom. Mm-hmm. With symptom started, so the the idea of symptom, we got, we gotta understand something. When we're talking in the Torah, talks about Lavan. Torah talks about Bilam. You know, you talk about prophets. You're not talking mm-hmm. about. So, <laughs> and you're not talking about they were they weren't gangsters out of the street, mm-hmm. and there were people living in very deep understandings, and very they were having a lightning. They were having. Nevia, Nevia from Hashem. You know, we're not talking about plain, plain people, mm. but they were abusing their levels instead of having the levels in order to see God and connect to God and you be humble. They were taking it to for their own advantages. That's Clipper. Clipper is the one who sees himself as the point, and the world around as serving the person. Versus Kedusha, with Kush Kedusha sees God as the point, and the world around serving God. What does that mean that there are certain levels of Kedusha that Tum'ah doesn't have any, any place in them? So are those levels of Kedusha attainable in this world? Or is it just that in this world, everything is... It's hard to see what's right and what's wrong. Everything is gray, right? And that's the biggest challenge to know what the right thing is to do. You have halakha and so on and so forth, right? But then mm-hmm. there are other parts of your life, there are decisions that you have to make and so on and so forth where you don't know what, what the right thing is. Mm-hmm. So, but you're saying that, so most of the decisions that you have, there are a lot of decisions that you have in life where it's not, where it's not so, you know what I mean? It's not so clear cut. Mm-hmm. So there is tum'ah, right? And you have to choose between one or the other and sometimes you don't know which which is which. So these levels of kedusha that you're saying where Tum'ah has no place for them. Is is it possible for it to be in this world, or it's not? It's not here. Be'olam agashmiut. It's not. A, it's not be'olam agashmiut. And I think the only one they were able to reach that are the very biggest tzaddikim. Which what does uh, that mean? They reach it, meaning they're able to see always the right and the wrong and everything. Or they, they reach just... a level, right? They reach a level where there's only good and there, there's no bad involved we, we in, talk, in their actions or in their perception in the perception but in the action you cannot be a tzaddik if there's any any and not even a lower level of a tzaddik we learn tanya you see a bainan mm. even if someone is an action is 100 percent correct 100 mm. percent good but it's even a tzaddik but but the point is we talk about levels that the highest levels now there's deeper and deeper and deeper that's where chassidus uh, goes deeper and deeper but the way we see things, we are all shy, we all have bad in ourselves. No way. It means even if you try to do good in Sadiq Ba'arat everyone will here and then, here and there he might fail. And let's say if there's a person who's only do does good, but still himself is not he's not hundred percent pure. And even if he is hundred percent pure, he still sees himself he feels himself as a, as an existence. The fact that you feel yourself as a, as a, as as your own existence is already st- very minor, minor, minor level of wrath, badness, but still something. So there's levels and levels and levels higher and higher. So it's not something that we should refer to it because it's not in our world for sure. Not. <laughs> what we have to know is to understand when we learn this. Besides just learning um, kedusha, which has an effect on persons. It's the same as when a person reads about Tumah, it has a bad effect on a person. When you, you learn a holy, a holy Sefer and a holy concept, you, it in, awakens your Neshama, you, you get a certain level of connection to what you learn, but there's also, and, it, and it, I, I say something rubs off, mm. rubs off a little on the person, but it's also, it's also, there's something that you have to take out of it. You need to say, when you learn, you understand what happened with Asa, what happened with Yaakov. Asa's issue was, he wasn't interested in, he was saying, just leave me alone, just want to do whatever I want to do, just leave me, let me do my business, I'm not, I'm not interested in anything. Mm. Especially when we when we just finished Shabbat Zohar, right? So the Shabbos, we said, Zohar Sh'aslach Amalek. Amalek is a grandchild of whom? Asa. 
So a Malik is the one, the person says, so there's hundreds of levels of a Malik. There's mm. in every level there's a Malik. But what's the concept of a Malik? A Malik is a person who says, I know, I know, I know. Whatever you have to say, I know. Just leave me alone. I want to do my own things. There's, there's, in the, a Malik, there's, there's a, how you call it? You, there's different titles of it. Talk of it. There's, there's the level, there's the level where, there's the rush, there's the moich, and then there is the lev, there's the heart. And there is a meitzer hagarn, the Nachman says, the, there's a meitzer hagarn, there's the, there's the throat in the middle, which is, mm-hmm. so you have the body is wide, the head is a little wider, and then the throat is thinner. Mm-hmm. So it's a marshal, it's a metaphor of explaining the concept that from the wisdom of the person's mind, in order to be able to come down to the person's heart, Meaning to say that a person should live it. There is a meitzer agorn. It narrows down in the throat, and sometimes it cannot pass. It's too narrow. It doesn't pass. Meaning to say, the person says, "I don't care. I don't. I don't just let me do whatever I want to do." So, so we understand there's levels in a molek. We have tariag mitzvahs. We have six hundred certain mitzvahs. Certain people have certain challenges and certain mitzvahs, but there's still different mitzvahs. It's only the one of one of the things what a molek would say is. Oh, you already missed it. Just forget about it. Mm. You missed it. You missed it. You're not going to be the tzaddik. You're not going to be the pure person. Anyway, just enjoy life. Finish. Cut it out. Mm. Mm. But you have to know, huh? <laughs> so you have to know there's 630 mitzvahs. 630 mitzvahs, 630 channels. 630 connections that a person has to Hashem. So if a person burns one channel, it still has a different channels. So it's not about black or white or either all or nothing mm. gray black or every white mitzvah, every mitzvah counts every mitzvah counts every connection counts and everything is yes yes we have challenges that's why we're here in this world that's that's our job but a mullah would say no 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 if you're not the tzaddik anyway just cut it out finish mm. said you're weakening you're not making it anyway just leave it just mm. drop it but that's a Molek, also part of a Molek. So a Molek has a lot of faces, and, I've, and it comes on every level, and it talks a different language. So that's what a Molek does. So that's where, where we are. What, what, what is he doing? He says, yeah, you're smart, you know, you know, you know everything, but just leave it, leave it, leave it. Aesop says, leave it. Ralentiles is more important than this. And then he cries. <laughs> Later on, he realizes, "No, I made, I made a mistake," you know. But it's still, unfortunately, he's uh, he's tied into his materialistic desires that's ruling over him. What can I do? They saw Oyah bad from Betin, from Betin that he was there was Adam and Sari, and it was bad, bad. What can he do? He should try to be good like this. Level and level come down, come up like this because he was Adam the bad then. Oh, so you're asking what what Asa was already born bad? Yeah, so it's not exactly so because every person, every person has yes, every person has his own challenges. That Hashem created the person with his with his challenges because if we all have the equal challenges, so we, Hashem only needs one person. Why does he have four people here? Because everyone has his challenges. Every person has his makeup, his family dynamics, his surrounding, the way he was brought up, and the, which school it was, his story, his teachers, his principal, his very bad principal. Whatever mm-hmm. he has, his story, the way he was brought up with his work, and yeah. whatever his every history he has. Every person has his own schmucks. Huh? Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's whatever. There's every person, and that's where everyone has his, his challenge. Yes, it's true that Asaf. Hashem didn't, didn't ask from Esau it should be like Yaakov. Yeah. Yaakov was born different and Yaakov has his challenges and his level. Mm-hmm. His challenge was to <clears throat> reach a higher level, not to be just satisfied with the level that he is at, but just to keep on climbing higher and higher. That was his challenge. Esau's challenge was in a lower level, yeah. that it shouldn't be the way his desires is. He's red and he wants to hunt, he wants to kill, he wants to do whatever he wants. His blood is hot, he's looking for for yeah. Tavot and everything. No. So Esau challenges, just take this this Gevurah, take the, your red, your hot, yeah, yeah. 
run after mitzvahs, run to do mitzvahs, run to spread the Yiddishkeit on the wall. Do different. Use it. Use your use your uh, power in different angles. Mm. Okay, thanks. So you're saying So that's the begin of Marcus Richard begin is Lavona sit at Akhra Shalaya Namer the Khafra Halvona That's a that's a bad part of the Lavona the Lavona the Lavona is khafra the darkness that's the beginning of the Yetzir Hore. is the one who is the smart one, the one who is the Malchus of Kedusha. What is Malchus of Kedusha? It's, uh, he's poor, meaning to say, a person when he's poor, he's humble. Right? You don't see a poor people, uh, a poor person usually won't be a rogues it won't be a balgaiva why because he's shattered he's broken he's poor he doesn't have the power the last lomigarme claim he has nothing from his own whatever he gets from chachme but it's a harder he's an old king I mean to say he's a stupid king miskin well, means what in this case yes smart one okay smart one not the miskan you call in Hebrew. Miskan. Huh? In Hebrew, okay, okay. yeah, poor guy. <laughs> it's it's miskan. It's a little different. Miskan uh-huh. is a, a miskan, and then there's miskan. Uh-huh. Miskan v'chochem. So, Amel Zokan Chsil B'chines Malchus is Sitra Achre. It's the kingdom of Sitra Achre. She'ena chafeitza b'chochme v'seichel. He doesn't want chochme v'seichel. B'chines lo'yach poitz Chsil b'svinah. That's the beginning of what Shlomo Melech said. The Chsil doesn't want Tvinah. Now, every person needs to give his power to the beginning of Malchus the Gaber al Malchus the to overcome and overpower the Malchus the Sitra Achre. A person should always be Margis the Make the Yetzer Hara be angry at the Yetzer Tov? Yeah, meaning to say, what do you mean be, be, make me a- angry? Overpower, overcome him. Mm. The Yetzer Tov should be stronger than the Yetzer Hara. Now, how does he do it? What gives a person the ability, the power to give Koyach for Malchus Kedusha? That's Aladei HaToyedeh. That's the power of Toyedeh. She oisik be Koyach. The person learns Toyedeh be Koyach. It doesn't you, know, you can learn to lazy and then you sleep in the middle. Mm. When you learn with the chayyim, the skoyach, toyde gets from the sense of the says in the parentheses the oilim yagis he ozl mitav im lav yitz yasek b'toyde. The point the chayyim says that a person when the yitzhar comes, what should he do? Shchele b'smedish yasek b'toyde. Shom says the omer says the chayyim brachah bogadam and he was there mashchele b'smedish. Why? Because I toyde nasi koyach l'malchus egdishe. The Torah gives a koyach for Malchus and Gdisha. But as I then mekabelus ha Malchus and Malchus is mekabel she begins nun chius man hachachme. That's the point where Malchus gets. Sorry, so I'm sorry. So it says that if you're feeling the lami agiz, so you should do that. If you feel that the rates and heart is bothering, you should pull them to the base medrash, right? Right. Okay. So when you learn, right. learn gives learning Torah has the koyach gives koyach for Malchus and Gdisha gives the Strength for the Malchus for Gdusha, yeah, the right. pressure should be mm-hmm. be able to makabel with them. Then Malchus has Malchus at the beginning of Nun, he is accepting Chiyas Menachachme, she begins Ches. So Nun gets from Ches. When it's Chaber, when it's Kasher, a Ches vaha Nun. What happens then? What happens mm-hmm. when Ches touches Nun? Then when it, bec- then when it becomes Chain. Mm. Chain is charm, right? That's when we, that's where we started off with the Torah, mm-hmm. saying that in our days chain is by the clipper. So he's saying that you okay. So so through Torah. So you learn Torah. So then you connect to Malchus Kedusha. The Torah is also Chachmas Elokus. Right. 
And then that way, and, and that, that's your chet, and then you, you get chen. Okay. So chen, so you get chen. How does it, what's the chen? <coughs> Nun and ches. Charm, or Gerenes. Charm. No. Oh. Charm, no? Charm, yes. Yeah, let me see. Depends what depends what I think it's I think it's charm, isn't it? Yes. Let me look at that quickly. Okay. Chen. No. It translates as chen. He thinks it's a name. It's a name. <laughs> 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 no, it's uh this is all this is all that they're giving me. Oh, so what happens? So there's different chains. Okay, so 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 let's elaborate it. Let's stop a second. When you look at chain, what is chain? What is the essence of chain? What is its charm? What is that? Yeah, grace, charm, fairness, glamour, grace, 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 grace. Okay. So what is chain? What is chain? So the so the Gemara says so there's a pasuk. Elisha, Elisha, Hanavi, Prophet mm-hmm. Elisha, Beis, Malachim, Beis, Beis. They were saying, they were complaining, they were saying, Yeruchoi, and Yeruchoi, yeah, Jericho, eh? Yeruchoi is special. And they were complaining, a lot of trouble happens there. So the Gemara says, so if you, if you complain on Yeruchoi, so why you call it the Moshe Toiv? It's a good place. So we say it's a good place. It's a Moshe Toiv. It's a very good place. Mm. Moshev, a Moshev, mm-hmm. Tov, a mm. good Moshev, a good, yeah, a nice place to live it at. And they're complaining about all the problems that are happening there. Mm-hmm. So if it's a good place, if it's if it's problematic, so why you call it good? Wait, Yer- Yericho is the first is the city where you, that Yeshua destroyed, right? When he was uh... right, right, okay. right. So later on, Elisha. So the Gemara says, the Gemara in Sote Memzayin, the Gemara says, There's three, let's call it, three kinds of grace, charm. The Gemara says, The place where a person is supposed to live has a chen. People like their place. Mm. There's people, I don't know, there are people living next to Volcanoes, but they still choose to live there. <laughs> I don't know why they choose. I would just run away from there. But these people live there. They hope for the best and they live there, right? And there's people living next to tsunamis, you know, all these kind of problematic places. But they live there. They see it as a beautiful place. Chain isha al bala. There is the chain of a wife and the husband. Mm-hmm. And then the third one is Chain Mekach. The, there's a Chain of the merchandise for the buyer. There's a certain mm-hmm. a buyer. So we, if we learn a little the insights, Chain is something, sometimes you cannot explain it. So it just, yeah. it's, it, it's something it's some, that... Something that pulls you, that you cannot attraction. even, it's an attraction that you right. cannot explain why it is so. So it's a, basically, it's more a Ruchni thing mm. because the object is the same for me and for you we both see the same place i say i'm not stupid to live in this stupid place where it's all kind of problems might happen he say oh it's so beautiful it's, it's a lovely place you just <laughs> want to live there so it's something that pulls you it's attraction you cannot explain chen is a dover rochni mm. in a way it's a dover rochni it's not a it's not a physical thing yes it is physical for some people like who don't Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he refers to Chain and he's going to explain the essence of Chain. Mm. So there's Chain when Chain comes from Kedusha. And then oh. there's Chain when Shlomo Melech says, Sheker mm. There's attractions which is bad. A person gets attracted to the wrong thing. And then the person gets attracted to the right thing. That's the Chain of Kedusha. So he explains what, what is the real Chain when the Nun and the Ches merges oh. and reach. When the nun, when a person reaches the level that he is Malchus, Malchus of Kedusha, he is Bittl, he's not a, he's, he's humble, he's ready to accept yeah, yeah. 
and his he sees his whole existence as Malchus, then he gets from Ches, then he gets from Chachma, then when Chen creates. So that's when he learns Toyre, Toyre gives empowers Malchus. Toyre gives the person the ability to get out of himself. The problem is that we are all creatures. We are all created and we have our materialistic desires. And how can we get out of ourselves to become humble? We want to get and get and get and get. That's mm. what a person, a kid, a baby, is a taker the whole time. He wants to get the whole time. Yes, that's what we are. So you learn Torah, Torah gives the Koyach that a person should be able to get out of himself, be able to become humble yeah. and reach higher, reach heights, understand there's something else. There's something else here. It's not only your materialistic um, uh, thing that you see here. It's mm-hmm. not everything, that, it, some, something attracts you, there's something else there. There's something else you have to find there in that part. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. something else. Either sometimes it's by connecting to the thing, sometimes it's by disconnecting. Yeah. yeah there's two ways of bringing out the tzitzis. It's a whole explanation. We'll talk in a different time. So it says, when Ches and Nun accepts, then it works, then it, then it becomes to Chain. Then when Nasa Oir Halvanak Oir Achama, then the R, the light of the Levana, becomes as strong as the R, the light of the Cham of the Sun. Kshazek comes, then Noifu. The way Kedusha and Timak works is when Kedusha is strong, then 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 Klippe is weak, and when the Klippe is strong, then Kedusha is, is. This is what the Gemara and Megillah talks about with respect to Kesaria and uh, Yerushalayim, right? Right. So Yerushalayim, you, right. So that's okay. Are you worried that say or Levona ke or Achamo, and also after that say Achamo yet Shiva time, seven time. If you if it begins bigger and bigger, what what uh-huh. what is the problem to Levona to come to his to Shemesh? Or a Levona kehora chamo ye, and the chamo the sun would would be seven times more. Okay. See what time? Where is it? Oh, you're saying oh, yes, you're saying correct. Yes, correct. We're coming even even stronger. Right, right. But but what but when he first now is to the point where Levona reaches. The point, the same level as Chama, and so the level that we talk about Chama. Yeah, exactly. So, and then what happens then is, then, then, Neufel bin his battle, Malchus Arisha, the Malchus of Risha is being this battle, Kumashikosaki, Shorim Dach Hashem, the ways of Hashem is right, is Yoshar, Vetzadikum Yechabam, the Raidos will go with it, the Poshim, the Wicked, Yikoshlibam. Hmm. They are becoming stronger, they're getting koyach through that. But the poishim, the one, the sinners, Yikashlibam, just the opposite, So the way what he explains now is that Toyre is basically breaking them breaking the remarkable sedition while they there through the toyren is kablim and through the chain toyren all what he explains this kablim kolat filas va bekoshes why that's the way he started off the toyren that through chain through toyren the filas and bekoshes are being accepted why is it so kikam ashein this kablim va bekoshes why why isn't the prayers that a person asks and begs from Hashem isn't being accepted answer it Usually, if a person comes and asks for a favor, if he has chen, he is able to move the other person that he's asking in order to make, get him into a level that he should be willing to answer to the request from the others. It's not nechnas, it doesn't enter to the heart that the person that mm. is asking from. It's it's like it's 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 like it's like the heart of the other person is like full. There's no place where it could enter. through the toyre shadazen is chabrim is kachren anun vaches. The chnun and the ches are being connected. Vanasa chen then it becomes chen. Al kan nikas toyre. That's why toyre is being called yaalas chen. It's elevating chen. Val zeh 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 ze
in merit it's that a, a word should be divrechein v'azayin is kalvin devoto v'kashoysov and then the, the the right the words of uh, and the because is being accepted like the person who talks the words enters to the heart of the one that's being asked from and from the one who we are asking from so so he's saying that just like if you want to ask a favor from somebody mm -hmm. you have to make it sound nice to them <clears throat> right you have to appeal to the same thing that the Torah gives chen, so it's the same thing it gives it <clears throat> appeals to Hashem uh -huh. you want to ask a favor from Hashem by the studying Torah it makes it you know it uh, I guess it opens up his heart to uh, right very good but in also also what he's writing here is like he says in the middle it's like like the other person's heart is full mm. there's no way there's no place for your request to enter meaning to say I'll explain it in my language I hope that's what he means over here. it's like in order every person yes if the egoism of a person is strong yes mm. if you are an ego your ego is strong you have lesser chances that a person should answer to your demands why is it so unless you overpower that person why is it so because our ego, there's like two pluses. We have two electro, a plus and a plus. What happens when they touch? They, they, go they clash, right. right? In order to be able to enter the other person's heart, either you force them down, mm. so you basically overpower the person. You over, yes, you rule over him, which is not the case here, or you have a way to enter him. So when you're when your ego is less, when you're humble, you make it sound nice. But he say yes. We're saying when you make it sound, when you make it sound nice. You're basically thinking of the person, trying to find words that will reach that person. So in a way, you are now in a lesser level, meaning to say you are like lowering yourself. You're thinking of that person. Let's see what words might touch his heart. So in a way, your ego is now a little smaller than before. Because you're thinking about him, we understand you're that you're becoming more malchus this way. More right? malchus, right? right? That's the way. That's the way you have the greatest, greater chances. Unless that person is a very nice person and doesn't mind that you are egoist and uh, whatever, it doesn't he doesn't mind the way you ask the request? Mm -hmm. He still is willing because he's an open person. He's, he's a humble person. Mm -hmm. So then his heart is open and you can enter whatever you want to enter. But if that person is a closed person, meaning to say that he is, he is wherever he is. In order to appeal to him, in order to reach him, you have to lesser yourself. You have to become a little less, lower your ego. You lower your ego, you have an, you have, have an avenue, a way how to reach that, to appeal that person. So and also, the same, same thing is over here. When we want to ask from Hashem, we want to get something. So in order to get, you have to be able to connect yourself. But if you are, if you are thinking about yourself, so why you are not connecting yourself? You have to be a vessel, you have to be able to connect. But if so, and in order to connect, in order to enter Hashem, there's a need for chain. You learn Torah, you, you lesser yourself. You learn Torah, you you're becoming more humble and your request is more pure. So you have the ability to reach Hashem. So now, now, now he goes to the next point. Now he's saying, now what happens? There's tough. Tov is the last letter, right? When Ches and Nun are being connected, when there's Chain, Al Dazen Nasa Bechinus Tov. So what is Tov? He's going to explain. Tov is Shalosha Chakika Urishima. Tov. But it's also is, the actual letters. Right. You put the Chet and you put the Nun like this on top of each other, you get a Tov, right? You have a chet, right? And you have a nun, which is like this. So put the nun, put the the, the leg the of the nun direction. over the over the uh, over the left leg of the chet, and you get right. a tough, right? Right, right, right. But is so, that, or am I or am I uh, making things up right now? Is no, it might be, might be. So we'll have we, we just we'll need to find the the way to explain it. Why mm -hmm. it should be connected this way? But uh, so what he's saying is, with the chet and the nun, then it becomes a tough. Mm -hmm. Tough, he says, is shaloshin comes out of the words of. 
Chakika Ereshima. Chakika Ereshima is the sign. It's a sign. Because of this tov. You 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 leave a mark. It's a it, it's you make a mark or something. It's a tov. Kaldeya chain nechkak venishem mokem belief amizbakish. And through the chain has the person has a has ability to engrave and to make a mark on the other's heart. The kabbalah because should accept it because you can this chain this kabbali devorov. Through the chain, the other words, the words of the person being this kabbal nimtza, so therefore shebechinas shebechinas hachain nechkak shechain chokak mokiv belen ze while able to engrave in the heart of the other person shebavakshem any keshekansi devarav liboy his rights should enter the heart the kal bekashosa in his bakasha is a question be fulfilled. Chakika v'neshima is a bechinas tov canal. Chakika v'neshima engraving that's that's a reiteration a mark is bechinas tov canal. Zeu that's the word. Divrei chachomim benachas. Nachas is nishmoim. Nachas davke. Nachas is nun ches. It's chayin, but there's also a tov. Daike. Daike. Haine bechinas chayin anel. Vatov anel. So nachas val daizeh nas oisius nachas was nishmoim devarov and is kabel bekashosa canal person talks nice that's the way you were saying you find your language nachas you're talking in a calm way in a nice way polite you ask polite yes that's the the best way to get something is you're, you're polite you ask in a nice way nachas nachas it has the chain the chain has the ability to make a mark on the other other's heart that's the way you get and you receive whatever you want